Or the camera, yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, this video we're making this afternoon in class in, let's see, what is it, March 2017, is about our uh, risk hazard analysis assignment. And this will be available online, and of course I'll give this out to you in class this afternoon. Now, I've put the main frame of this up on the board, and we're going to work our way through it. Hopefully it won't take too long at all. And I think I've already said that the camera batteries are a little bit sad. Um, basically, today's work task is an electrician working in the roof cavity. And we've already discussed this afternoon what hazards are. And just to recap, hazards are, are basically anything that can cause us harm. The probability of that hazard causing us harm is called the risk. So there is a slight difference between hazards and risks. So in identifying hazards, we're looking at the potential hazard here. And who can give me, um, well, perhaps, look, I'll start us off. I'll give us one potential hazard of an electrician working in the roof cavity. Uh, and that would be above the gyprock ceiling. So I'm going to say here, you can probably guess it when I start to write this. falling through the ceiling. And this is more common than you think. Because when you're up in the roof, you're crawling around with your knees, with knee pads on, between different ceiling joists. And then if you put your weight in the wrong place, you've only got a piece of 16mm uh, gyprock between you and falling down. So quite possible that you could fall. Um, controls to be used. What could we do to prevent ourselves falling? Wade? Fantastic. I love it. I'm going to write here, not what you said. You said harness. I'm going to write FPS. FPS. We've played hangman almost many times this afternoon. What does FPS mean? system. Fall prevention system. <coughs> and of course the fall prevention system would be a harness. And boy, what would you have to do with that harness before you could rely on it? Check it in which way. If you're going to be working in the roof, you've got a harness in, in what's called a fall prevention system. What would you be checking for? Okay, there's the clips and everything else on it. Make sure they're all okay. Where it's anchored, extremely important, but the most important thing, if the fall from the ceiling to the floor was three metres and the fall protection system was four metres in length, would it be any good? You'd be a bit like Wile E. Coyote, wouldn't you? It wouldn't be that good at all. Callum, are you with us up there? Yeah, all right. Okay, good on you. Um, all right, so next two columns. With no control, we need to come up with some sort of a risk that this hazard we've identified, which is falling through the ceiling, it's a real hazard. I mean, we've all been in the roof cavity, I guess. It's quite dangerous and it's dark. So with no control and saying that a risk rating of five equals extreme, what do you think the risk rating is we might put on that? Four? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with four. I reckon four. Yeah. And with the control, providing we've checked that fall arrest system or fall prevention system, providing we've checked that it's going to stop us before we hit the floor, that's pretty important, um, I'm going to say a one. So we've mitigated the problem, we've mitigated the risk associated with the hazard by employing a certain control. Who can come up with another thing? Let's just put a line underneath that. And who can come up with another hazard? Yes, Simon. Ventilation. Ventilation is quite a good one because 
It covers confined space. And we talked about confined spaces last week being not your place of normal employment and where the atmosphere is less than what you normally breathe and being in a cramped position, awkward to move and having uh, limited uh, uh, in, in and out situation, hard to get into and hard to get back out of again. So ventilation in that particular confined space is not going to be good. Um, whoops, in the wrong place there, ventilation over in this section here because that's our main work task. What control can we use then to make ventilation less of a risk to us now that we've identified it as a hazard? Is there something that we could wear to get better air for breathing? A respirator? I think so. Control to be used. respirator and um, with no control again so we've got this ventilation problem if we don't have a respirator we're breathing in the possibly asbestos fibers we're breathing in bits of um, insulation material we've got rodent debris we've got maybe any fumigant that's been used in the ceiling in previous times so I think that's pretty important. Um, without a control, I think that uh, I'd certainly be rating it a four. What do you guys think? Yeah. And with the respirator? Down to a one? Okay. Another hazard then. Can somebody come up with another hazard? We're in a dark roof. We're crawling around. We're doing some work. We've got a torch in our mouth. Holding a torch. Headlamp. Headlamp, maybe. How about I help us out here? The E word. Electrocution. Because we've got wires running around the different ceiling joists. And we've probably got rodents such as rats which love to eat through that insulation. And um, we've got a, certainly a hazard with electrocution. What can we do about this? What control can we use? Turn it off. Lock out. Yes, go to the power board, turn the breakers off and put a sign on the board and probably have somebody there watching the board while you're in the roof cavity. When you're, when you're in the roof cavity, then use some testing apparatus to make sure that any of those lines, if they're exposed, are dead before you start moving around in the roof cavity too much. I think electrocution is quite a serious one, especially in old buildings with old cloth-covered cables. Um, and I certainly think with no control, I'm going to put a five for that because you're, if you're in a confined space and you get an electric shock, the outcome's not going to be good. So uh, with the control, if it's locked out successfully, it's certainly going to come back down to a one. Is there anything else anybody can think of, Simon? Rodents? I'll run with that. I've encountered these. Rodents, so you mean like rats? What's another rodent which we commonly get in Roofs, roof cavities in Australia? Spiders. Spiders. Possums. We get possums. They come in under the tiles and they live in the roof. And they've got extremely sharp claws. And if they decide to run up your overalls and scratch your face, it's going to be nasty. All right? What can we do then about these small animals, as you call them, the rodents? What can we do as a control then against this hazard? Bait traps. Oh, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably run with that. Um, I don't know if we had this said before. We did actually. Use of traps in ceiling. Anything else that we could use against the rodents? 
sure there's nothing up there first. Animal control first. Or pest controller maybe. And probably something which um, goes back to this respirator thing up here too. Uh, what about if we use um, uh, rat poison? The day before, rat poison. But then, of course, you're going to be crawling around the joists with your bare hands and you've got rat poison. And then you're going to be putting your hands in rat poison and then going downstairs and eating your Vegemite sandwich later on. So what, what can we do to get around this problem? Gloves, I like it, yeah. Gloves, PPE. Um, this rodent problem, I don't think I'm going to give it a four or a five. I think I'm probably going to give it something less. Anyone want to have a number for that? Two or three, yeah. Three max. Two. A two? Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. All right, I run with that. 2.5, not quite a three. We didn't think it was a, a big risk that was coming from this. Um, and then once we've done these things, do you agree it takes it down to a one again? Yeah. yeah. So can you see what we've done today? We've had this work task, electrician working in the roof cavity, and that word was supposed to be there. We know I made a little mistake putting that there. But we came up, after we looked at the hazard, we looked at controls to be used with a risk that was based upon those particular hazards, we had to come up with methods to control those risks. And that's what we've done here. And then once we've controlled the risks, we've been able to allocate risk rating numbers to those different controls. All right, that pretty well wraps up um, that part for this assignment. Now, when you get this, you'll find out that you need to actually Choose a topic that you've done in part-time work or if you've got jobs now, in your own job. Come up with a work task. Come up with potential hazards, controls to be used. Um, you'll draw a matrix up on your assignment and you've got to do that matrix in addition to 250 words saying how you made this work. And don't forget you have to cover things like elimination, substitution, engineering controls, isolation, administrative controls, and finally, PPE. So remember what they were, elimination. Do we really need to do this? I don't mean the assignment, that's not negotiable, we have to do that. But do we really need to go into the roof cavity? If the answer was no, hey, we've just eliminated all the hazards. We've eliminated the problem, it's gone. Substitution. Can we, can we substitute another way of doing this? Do we really, that's a good one. Do we really need to run the cable through the roof? Why don't we run the cable underneath the building? There's a crawl space under the building. We could do that. Yeah. Just as bad, maybe. Maybe just as many hazards down there. Who knows? Engineering control. Engineering control is probably not relevant in this one because that involves guards, exhaust fans, things like that. Isolation, again, where there's a dangerous bit of machinery, isolating that away from somebody else, probably not too relevant here. Administrative controls here? Hey, administrative controls. We talked about lockout. Electrician working in roof. Do not turn power on. Administrative control, a sign. And PPE, certainly here, we had a couple of instances, the harness, the respirator and the gloves for PPE. Are there any questions about this? All right, that, that wraps up what I wanted to show you with that and just give you an introduction to what you're going to do with this assignment. Thank you. All right. We didn't run out of battery? <laughs>